all people present to witness that you take her as your lawful wife. What is your answer? Yep. Yep. It's a nice Australian yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Janet, I have to ask you as well. Do you solemnly declare that within your knowledge there is no lawful objection to your proposed marriage to the bridegroom, also looking not too bad, <laughs> at your side? And do you call all people present here to witness that you take Richard as your lawful husband? I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it was a very uh, well-pronounced I do. <laughs> now I just want to remind you that in Scripture there's a wonderful example of what God's gift is for us. So I just want to tell you that there's a guy named Paul writing to a congregation, a group of people, and he said, you must clothe yourself in a wardrobe. And that wardrobe is very specifically. It describes it quite a lot of things in a relationship. But the one very important one is that we must never be without that one garment, and that is called love. So he said, wherever you go, wherever you are, and especially when you're together, and especially maybe you're on a trip to somewhere, or you're away from one another, remember that one special garment, never be without it. I'm just going to read from that to you. Uh, it's in the message version. Now you are dressed in a new wardrobe. Every item of your new way of life is custom made by the Creator with His label of distinction. Isn't that well, well written? Label of distinction. So there's compassion and kindness and humility, quiet strength, discipline, even tempered, content with second place, being quick to forgive completely as the Master forgave us. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It is the basic all-purpose garment never be without it and I just want to share with you that sometimes we think of the gift of love as the rainbow with all the multicolors sometimes we think love is just you know a kiss here a wink there maybe a SMS maybe something special but God says I want to remind you that it is a wonderful way of life it is different things that you can share with one another so I'm going to share this with you. Someone wrote it, the key to love. The key to love is understanding the, um, the ability to comprehend not only the spoken word, but those unspoken gestures, the little things that say so much to themselves. The key to love is forgiveness. What a big one. To accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes without forgetting, but with remembering that we can learn from them. The key to love is sharing, facing your good fortune as well as the bad, together both conquering problems, forever searching for ways to intensify your happiness. The key to love is giving, without thought of a return, but with the hope of just a simple smile and by giving it never the key to love is respect realizing that you are two separate people with different ideas that don't belong to each other you belong with each other and share a mutual bond the key to love and this is beautiful is inside us all it takes time and patience even with a bumblebee <laughs> to unlock all the ingredients it is a continual learning process that demands a lot of work but the rewards are more than worth the effort and that is the key to love understanding forgiveness sharing giving and respect and the wonderful thing is inside us all and may you experience what wonderful way is it to share that love with one another in a lifelong journey. So now that you uh, heard what is the uh, humorous aspects of being together and maybe more serious things, I want to ask you, is it 
okay that we can proceed with this uh, ceremony <laughs> Richard I <laughs> Richard said he's out of here, so Sam, Sam's for opportunities. Uh, Janet, how are you? I'm fine. Good. <laughs> now we come to that special part where you're going to also share your vows with one another. If you want to give that beautiful okay to one of those beautiful ladies to share, and I would like you now just to hold your right hand as, you know, the first time you met, on the, you know, with... <laughs> And there's special vows which uh, you wrote, and I'm going to read that up. But before this, I just want to read you something to remember about the love. True love is a sacred flame that burns eternally. And none can dim its special glow or change its destiny. True love speaks in tender tones and hearts with gentle ear. True love gives with open heart and true love conquers fear. True love makes no harsh demands. It neither rules nor binds. And true love holds with gentle hands the hearts that it entwines. May you experience that wonderful love as you're going to share it with one another. <coughs> now you're not talking now to the elephants or the beepos or whatever. <coughs> you're going to talk to one another now. And see this as a special moment where you share your vows and make your commitments to one another. I'm first going to read for you, Richard, and you're going to say after me. Repeat, right. Because of you, because of you, I laugh, I laugh, I smile, I smile, I dream and I live. I dream and I live. I look forward with great joy. Forward with great joy. Spending the rest of my life with you. Spending the rest of my life with you. Caring for you. Caring for you. Nurturing you. Nurturing you. Being there for you. Being there for you. In all life has for us. In all life has for us. And our vow to be true. And our vow to be true. And faithful. And faithful. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Wonderful. I hope you heard that, Janet. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Are you going to pronounce it just as beautiful? <laughs> you see, see the laugh? <laughs> because of you. Because of you. I laugh. I laugh. I smile. I smile. I dream and I live. I dream and I live. I look forward with great joy. I look forward with great joy. To spending the rest of my life with you. To spending the rest of my life. Caring for, you. Caring for you, nurturing you, nurturing you. Being, there for you being there for you in all life, as for us, and our vow to be true, and, our vow to be true. and, faithful. and faithful, for as long as we both shall live. Beautiful. No bumblebees, nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> Wonderful vows. May the Lord bless you in what you shared with one another the smiles but also the commitment and now to make this special you have the opportunity to give one another the rings and I'm going to read something for you there the giving of the rings thank you for the young man Richard is going to be first have you got the right finger Richard <laughs> that's, that's right <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to read. You want to say after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a sign of our union in marriage. As a sign of our union in marriage. With my body I honor you. With my body I honor you. All I am I give you. All I am I give you. And all I have I share with you. All I have I share with you. In the love of God. In the love of God. You may now put the ring on. <laughs> Yeah, excellent. Now it's your turn, Janet. Have you got the right yes, finger? I've got <laughs> <laughs> this ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a sign of our union in marriage. As a, as a sign of our union in marriage. With my body I honor you. With my body I honor you. All I am I give you. All I am I give you. And all I have I share with you. And all I have I share with you. In the love of God. In the love of God. Wonderful you know.
You may fit the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's wonderful that I can pronounce you with the blessing of the Lord, <coughs> husband and wife. And you can all give them a wonderful... <laughs> had a thought should the bridegroom not take off his hat <laughs> and give his bride a wonderful kiss <laughs> and now it's almost the end of the ceremony we're going to sign the register just a few minutes from here <coughs> I just want to give a final blessing before we ask all the guests just to arm themselves with some petals. I think there will be something at the back. Is it right, Janet? Yes. yes. yes.